Good morning guys, it is Friday the 18th. Today we are in Puerto Quetzal, Guatemala. Today we have a beach resort day, which is gonna be really exciting. Uh, it's about a seven hour tour, so it's gonna take up about most of the day. Now, one thing I noticed is that I got up at six o'clock, which is two hours before we were supposed to dock. And because I wanted to watch us come in. And oddly enough, it's six o'clock and we're already here, so. <laughs> I have been noticing that the captain of the ship usually is arriving an hour early or so, but he's two hours early today, so unfortunately I didn't get us coming in this morning, which I was really hoping to do, but that's okay. I think I'll have a lot of footage from this uh, excursion we're doing today, so stay tuned for the rest of the day. I'm going to go get some food, and I'll see you in a bit.
All right, we are out here walking on the black sand beach. It is actually really cool, but at the same time, it's really hot. But we're checking out the, the ocean right here. As you can see. For as oddly as calm as the Pacific is right now, oh, there's dogs. As oddly like calm it is for the Pacific, for some reason the like the surf here is insane. Like the waves crashing into the shore, are like massive. It's a uh, the Black Sand Beach is actually really cool. As you can see from all the volcanic activity here in Guatemala, but um, so it's really cool, very interesting place. The, the trip to get here today was about an hour and a half long and it was a very interesting one as our bus driver stopped on the side of the road to use the bathroom and then the tour guide himself was a little, didn't really know a lot about what we were doing and then he completely just straight up missed the stop when we were getting here. But at the end of it, it turned out to be really nice. It's a very, very beautiful area. Like, it sounds like you're hearing thunder almost the entire time we've been here. It's been the waves crashing in the entire time. It's, like I said, it's a very beautiful place. The only downside to this tour was the fact that it took about an hour and a half to get here. Uh, you'll probably, maybe you won't have the same tour guide as I will. Hopefully he knows a little bit more next time he does it. But overall, I would definitely recommend this tour. Just keep in mind that it will take a while to get out here. Here, this is how it's done. 